Hello and welcome along. My name is Azavar or Azza, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to download, install and set up the enemy randomizer for Dark Souls Remastered. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to want to head over to Nexus Mods. At Nexus Mods, you want to type in the search bar Dark Souls Rando. However, I will leave a link in the description to this video directly to this mod so don't worry about searching for it too much this is the one that we're going to take a look at dark souls enemy randomizer once you're here top right corner it will say manual download so we're going to press manual download and the free slow download that will pop the file down here we are going to go back to the dark souls rando because we've got some instructions that we need to follow in just a second to uh, set that up. So first of all, we need to unzip this file. So we can click here and show in folder to show the actual file itself. Next, we need to grab something to unzip the file. So you can type into Google WinRAR download free. Again, I'll link this page in the description to this video. So you can just follow the link from there. You wanna go ahead and download WinRAR and continue to download WinRAR just there. Give that a moment to download. You'll see it's downloaded in the bottom left corner here. So set up your WinRAR. Once you've set up your WinRAR and installed that, you then want to go to your Dark Souls Enemy Randomizer download. So on here, right click and extract files. I usually do extract files dot 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 and then press OK. That will create another folder. Dark Souls Enemy Randomizer just here. So these are the things that we need just here inside of this folder, which we'll get to in just a second. So now that we've got the contents of the folder extracted, according to these instructions here, we need to take the enemyrandomizer.exe and the enemy randomizer data folder and place that in our Dark Souls remastered installation location. So to do that, one of the best ways to do that I find is go to Steam. You can right click on your Dark Souls remastered, go to properties, and then go to the third tab across that says local files then you can click on browse local files that will bring up the installation folder of your dark souls remastered for me that's that's this pathway up here across the top so according to the instructions what it wants us to do is bring two files from the ex from the folder that we downloaded from the randomizer and it wants us to put those in the installation folder of Dark Souls Remastered. So to do that, you want to grab the enemyrandomizer.exe and the enemy randomizer data. Copy those so you can control C on your keyboard or right click and go to copy. You want to bring those then over to this folder over here, the installation folder of your Dark Souls. So once you've got those copied, you want to go over to here and paste into here. Um, I'm actually not going to paste them in because I've already got mine set up, but yours won't give this replace or skip message up here, so you can just ignore that. So once they're in there, you should see your Dark Souls randomizer, which is the one you've just pasted across from your download. And you've also got enemy randomizer data, which is the folder that it's asked us to bring across as well. So now that's the main files into the folder that you need them into once you've got your enemy randomizer into the folder that you need to so just double click enemy randomizer it might take a moment or two to start up so just give that a minute to do its thing after that's done its thing this box will pop up here which is the main enemy randomizer so you've got loads of different options that you can work through on these boxes here so feel free to take a look through for example here we have replace normal enemies so we can have don't replace normal enemies they will just stay as they are replace normal enemies only with bosses replace normal enemies only with normal enemies or replace normal enemies with bosses or normal enemies and then here we've got a percentage chance that the enemy will be a boss so we, obviously if we put that on 100 percent that means every single enemy will be a boss Obviously, you could just adjust that to whatever you want to see in your game. I just want to point out you've got a few tabs up here as well. So you actually have three tabs in total, not just the one. So keep your eyes for other options 
over here, you've got options to do with mimics and gargoyle number two, stuff like that. You've got even more options over here, so make sure to check those out as well. So once you're happy with all of your settings and things like that, there's only really one thing to do, which is click randomize, and that's all there is to it. So click randomize, uh, give that a moment, you'll notice this bar here will take a while to do its thing. That will randomize your game for you. That's it now done. It also gives you a file location of the randomizer as well. So enemy placement is saved to enemy randomizer forward slash refs forward slash enemy layout and it gives you the file location. So if you want to go and check that out, you'll see it's over here. So it told us it was on enemy randomizer, refs and enemy layout. So you go to your main Dark Souls folder once again, enemy randomizer data, refs, and enemy layout. So here is the text file that it's created with our particular enemy randomizer that we've just made. It also gives you a date and time as well. If you decide that you're done with the randomizer and you want to put the game back to normal again, all you have to do is on the right hand side, you just click revert to normal and that's it. Just click yes and the game will be back to standard again. Another really cool feature with this is you can actually copy the enemy placement from a different text file. So if you wanted to do that on the right hand side over here, you've got copy enemy placement. So go ahead, click that. You want to find your enemy placement folder. So once again, that's in enemy randomizer data and then refs. If it's not already there, you want to follow your Dark Souls remastered installation file. So Steam, Steam apps, common, Dark Souls remastered, enemy randomizer data, which is the folder we've created today, and then refs. You've got your text files in there so again they have dates and times so if you wanted to pick a particular file just find the one you want click that and then open that will now randomize exactly specifically to that file that you just chose a couple more things to mention with this mod is you can actually get this mod for dark souls prepare to die edition i won't be covering that in this video because I don't use Prepare to Die, but you can find the information for that over on the Nexus Mods page, which is linked in the video description. So feel free to go and take a look at that. Also, only use this mod in offline mode. Don't use this mod in online mode. Other than that, that about wraps it up for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful and it helped you out in some way. If you do enjoy the content on the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, take care.